Dear Future, we understand that you can sometimes be surprising, that things ahead can be rewarding as well as challenging. I understand that not everything is simple and obstacles can get in the way of progress. I know for a fact that we will do everything we can for our little boy and try to give him the future he deserves. I believe that sometimes the key to success is to look for the positives, no matter how bad they might become. The worrying does not help or improve the current situation. We only have a couple of months to go before our lives change forever, and even though we feel a mixture of being terrified as well as excited, we know deep down we are ready. Yours sincerely, David Bex. When I first saw that the test was positive, I was obviously scared, but I knew what it, it was what I wanted, and I think I've said that before. Yeah. But that's how I feel, and it's not going to change. Yeah, when when I was told, and I was, well, you showed me, didn't you, and then you told me, it's the weirdest feeling I think I've ever felt in my life. Like, the people who are watching this who are probably in a similar position or have been through it or are thinking about going into parenting, um, I, will, I'll, I will admit that it's, I've never felt anything like it before and it's really hard to explain. It's like when you're, you're, like, you're really, really excited, but at the same time, and I mean right at the same time, not afterwards, at the same time you're terrified. It's really strange feeling. Like I say, I can't explain how it, how it, you know, how it is, but I think the good thing is because there's like nine months of it, you know, nine month wait, so to speak. Um, in a way, you've got that sort of time to sit and get everything in your head right. You've got time to work out where you want to be. Uh, you know, you want, you know where you, you kind of hopefully you know where you want to go, and. You know, it depends on the situation you're in at the time. At least you've got this sort of countdown, so to speak. You got time, time to prepare. Yeah, time to prepare. <laughs> sort yourself out. Get your head in gear. Do things that you, you know, a nine months to prepare. And I won't lie, it's it's something that takes a quite a while to get in your head. You've got so many things to think about. You've got, you know, depending on the, like the position you're in at the time. I mean, for example, me and Bex, we met on Match.com and not long after our little one was conceived mm. as they say and it wasn't anything that we had planned and we both kind of wanted things like that but obviously not as soon as they happened but the good thing is unlike some situations and some relationships it didn't start off like that and take a spiral out of control so like we, we actually have both connected really well things have got gone better and better as time goes on and that's a good thing because then you know we're working as a team we both we want to be together anyway uh, we're now you know uh, we're engaged and we've got this uh, this little little monkey on the way and it's exciting as well as terrifying and it's, it's life-changing you know it's kind of like you know if you've got a routine a day-to-day -day basis and you're going day-to-day on and on and on doing the same things you get used to it and this is this big kickstarter in life like you can it alters everything and it's it's like not only like a countdown to you know you're meeting your first ever human being that you've created but you're you're like you know it's like a countdown to a life-changing experience no matter where it goes now it's going to be life-changing and I think for people who are coming into this position, they need to sort themselves out because some people don't care and I don't know how that works. So you need to sort yourself out and you need to, you know, get your head in gear and be prepared for that little one because he's innocent or they're innocent and they don't know what's coming and you need to be there for them because they'll need your support 
they'll they'll you know they need you and you need to understand that now now that you either have a little one or you're gonna have a little one that nothing's ever gonna be the same and I know that might sound really weird but it's in the sense that you can't you have to think about doing things like how much you spend on like a certain thing or if you're going to be able to go out or who's going to look after you know your child while you do have that an hour break yeah so it's just taking responsibility for not only yourself but for your little child and also because you've got nine months to prepare you know this is your time and this is what we did uh, as soon as I found out everything to me was for him and for and for Bex like I don't want I don't I don't really want for much in life anyway like you know I don't go out and just buy expensive stuff and spend 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 I used to do it I don't anymore I used to live on my own like used to live on my own sort of thing and I sort of got the gist of the money situation but your best bet is I always said if I could restart at the time at that time to make you know get a better head start in life I would and then I've been given this opportunity so basically if you can it doesn't matter how much you save anything will help you you know for the baby for I don't know rent for you know do it as best you can because it's better than just sponging and you know, so I know some people are in that position where they can't do what we've probably done, and we under I, I understand that we both understand that. But there's some people who abuse that, and I think you know you should be doing the best you can and not expecting everyone else to pay. Mm. So yeah, if you can save, you know, save. It doesn't matter how much you save a week, month. You know, it's something that will help you in the long run. Yeah, Just do it. If you That's if you I'd do you need help, then obviously. There's loads of help out there, like your midwife will offer you lots of things if you explain your situation. Like she she offered she's offered us quite a few things, hasn't she? Yeah, some things we never ever thought would actually you know, that a midwife would offer you really. Yeah. You'd be surprised how much help and support is out there. Because their their job is not only to look after and see if your baby's growing okay, they're making sure that you're ready and you've got all the information <coughs> that you're gonna need. So yeah, just just obviously explain your situation to your midwife and she'll help you as much as she can, turn you in the right directions. And you actually like if you sign up for like bounty and all the other mums and things, you get a lot of free samples. So if you find out you don't like a product, you haven't paid anything for it. No. Um I always find that on Facebook there are really good like mummy pages and if um, you scroll through and you've got a problem someone more than likely has asked has actually asked it and you, you do get a reply within an hour so it's good to just use that as a platform of asking indirectly what's mm -hmm. going on what was it what's that site you go on um let's because there's that with the discounts Oh, with the discounts. That's Bounty. Is it Bounty? Yeah. Yes, because we got a uh, like a bus chair. It's select uh, travel set. Well, travel yeah. set for like three hundred quid cheaper than the actual original price. So it's worth checking out. Um, if you're not sure and you're watching this video, literally comment in the box below or head over to our Instagram account uh, and private message us if you're not sure and see if we can help you mm. I know like we've still got you know we're still getting there ourselves um, right now but if you're watching this later on after this video and we've got a little little man and everything ready you know don't hesitate to get a hold of us because we'll try we'll try and help you like everyone's in the same boat sometime in their life um, and I think I think everyone should help each other out really or give us each other advice because we're all human and everyone's been there near enough you know, it's not like, you know, I think I think when you first hear about it, yeah, it's your first time for you with your child, uh, first ever child or whatever, but you, when you think about it, every single person, you know, you don't, you're not the only human being in existence to go through what you're going through emotion-wise, 
just you know you just got to sort of take a take a step back and think to yourself well everyone you know ask questions reassure your mind and the other thing is don't worry because like at the start of this video I've said you know worrying doesn't help a situation it doesn't improve anything it actually makes things worse because it makes you ill and there's no point panicking over something that you might not be able to fix well you could fix but panicking is not going to help the situation you know but like I said, there's people out there to help you, um, even if we can help you, you know, I know we probably don't know us, but <laughs> we'll try, we'll try, you know, to, I like helping people, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, is that it? I don't know, is that it? Is there anything else you want to add? A bit more obviously. I don't know, do you want to explain like? what you've been feeling because yeah. there's a lot of me on the yeah, youtube channel yeah okay well if you cut this and... yeah so for me um i've wanted kids for a long long time and i'm kind of glad it's like now i'm older that i'm becoming a dad um i've done like babysitting and looking after other people's kids i've always been known as the uncle the uncle dave um because i'm daft anyway and I basically act like a kid. It's a good reason to actually be like a kid, you know. Oh, ball pool, let's get in it. And then you realise you're the only one in there and the kid's gone home about an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> they didn't have to know. But yeah, you know, and it's exciting and terrifying because I want to be able to support them both. And if in my job, I, you know, not the best paid job in the world, but, you know, I want to be, I want to be able to support them as much as I can instead of having to try and get money off everywhere, everywhere else. Um, I suppose in one respect, because of all the money I've been paying into the so like tax or government, whatever it works, I can't. It's like kind of getting it back anyway. So really, it's not like I'm actually taking off anyone. It's like just basically like I've put it in a camp somewhere else. Mm. So in a way, you'd, I don't feel that bad if I did have to. But I'd like to be able to support them best I can and give them the best. That's the worry for me, or the worrying I've had, uh, or in the back of my mind. I, I don't really. Sh I don't think I've really shown my worry. As much as I thought I would. Um, no, you haven't. No. Uh, He's naughty. He bottles it up. He tells me not to bottle it up, and then he does the same. I know, because <laughs> I, I don't want her stressing. I don't want her worrying that I can't. That was my fear. I didn't want her to worry because she's, you know, she's pregnant, and I, you know, you kind of the fra. You feel like they're fragile, kind of, but you're not. But it feels like they're. And the last thing I want to do is like throw, you know, more sort of like thoughtful, stressful thoughts at her, thinking uh, like that she thinks I can't sort of manage. But I can, and I want to. I think sometimes I just need to know where I'm going. It's like people say, oh, you know, when you get in the house, when you get in this, when you get that. It's like, well, I need to know if I can afford this and I can sort that out and do the best I can, because otherwise you end up falling down a big hole. It's okay. I'm that boring. <laughs> no, I'm just tired. Yes, it's been a long day, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, you know, I've I've been scared. It's it is scary, and it's telling people as well. Like I don't like my business. I know I'm on YouTube, and everyone sort of worldwide can watch this. But in my hometown, I didn't really want people to know straight away because people think differently. And talk differently, and I couldn't be bothered with all that stress and then people talking. I know people say, don't worry what people say, but sometimes you could just do without it, and it's no one else's business. And in the end, you realise that, and it, you know, it goes straight over your head. Um, and you should just be happy for yourself, for your life. Um, a lot of people have been supportive and been really good about it, and it's laughed. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> laughed, and you, you know, but we're getting by, aren't we? I think we're doing well, and that's what that's what we need to be. You need to be a team. Um, you need you need you know it doesn't matter who it is, if need be. You know if you're struggling, single mum who the father's been a complete uh, let's let's be honest, a dick, and he's not supporting you, or which he should, or the other way around, which is possible. It does yeah. happen either way around, you know. Um, just get someone will be out there to help you, support you, even if it's just a friend, family. You know, don't get down. Please don't get down about it because it's a weird experience and eventually when you see that little boy
boy or girl. I'm, you know, I, I don't know how it's going to feel, but I know it's going to be amazing. But you're going to feel like you're on top of the world, and that is everything. You know, it's not money, it's not a fancy house, fancy car, fancy living. A human being that's yours. They will look up to you, love you, and that's priceless. You don't need money for that, do you? Love them back. Mm. Enjoy life. It's not all about money. It can be hard when. It can be. Obviously, you don't get the same rush of emotions. Mm -hmm. So, for the ladies who are pregnant, you get that. You get more. Um, what's the word? You feel more. You literally feel more like the littlest things. I don't know, like a messy house, like that. That can like tip you over the edge. Mm. Like it. Like when I'm at Dave's, and then I come back home, and like I forgot to make my bed or something, it will drive me insane. Mm. And it's it's just so weird. It's the little mumsy coming out. Yeah. Everything <laughs> tidy. Everything tidy. Everything tidy. And it put that down. It it does stress you out a little bit because you're like. I just want to go to bed, but... She can't settle. Yeah. She can't settle. It's horrible. And I'd just like to add, before we wrap up this video, the fact that I ha after this, this journey through sort of the pregnancy from a man's point of view, I have the utter respect. I already did, but now I have the ult ultimate respect for any woman out there who has had a child, the changes, the, th the emotions, God it's amazing what they've gone through and honest to God I literally just feel helpless sometimes and they are incredible, you women are incredible, you really are, I'm not just saying that, I'm being completely honest with you, it's fantastic, these are the things you go through, jeez, I don't cope, I just, you know, and just incredible, like, you really are, you, you know, now, if you doubt yourself as a mum, like you think to yourself, oh, I've been, I'm such a bad mum or something, I have something really silly, you're not, you've done a fantastic job, and if you think, oh, I'm not doing a lot, you know, my other half's out working away and trying, you know, make money for us and that, and panic, this one did it, <laughs> panicking, worrying about stuff, that she's not pulling, so pulling her weight, as they say, no pun intended, um, you know, to provide as much as they, the man is, they're carrying the, you know, you're carrying a child, a nurturing for that child, you're doing a fantastic job already, like the best job, I'm just making money, we're just making the, the cash, the side of it, they're carrying the goods, the fragile goods. And trying not to cry. This one's trying not to cry. <laughs> oh, bless you. It's true, you do so damn well. You really do. This is your fault. <laughs> I have that way with women. <laughs> you what? She's going to slap me in a minute. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wrap up this video now, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Like I say, if you have any questions, if you, if we can give you any advice or support from our point of view, from our experience, please comment in the YouTube box below. Um, follow us on Instagram. We are on Twitter. Probably better on Instagram. Yeah. Not very good with Twitter. But yeah, Instagram or on here on YouTube and we'll hope we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And hopefully speak to you in the near future. So bye bye guys. Don't be afraid to cry over chocolate. Don't be afraid to cry over chocolate. That should be a t shirt. <laughs> Wicked guys. Okay. Bye everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye.